Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the final element for my dollar store assembly line junk journal challenge. I need to make the snippets and I did already make one and I lost the video, so the footage. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how I did that. We're gonna go ahead and take out some book pages and we're gonna start with that. That's what I'm gonna use as my base and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect them together. We need to have three 18 inch snippets for this challenge. Again, this is our dollar store assembly line junk journal challenge. And the deadline for this challenge is August 31st. There's still plenty of time for you to join in. And if you want more information, that would be in the video. So there's a details video for the August challenge in the description box down below. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure my 18 inches. We'll go ahead and use the metal ruler. Okay, so come to here and that's 12 at mentioned. And we'll go to six. So right here, we'll go ahead and cut that off. And then what I did, because like I said, I've already, already did this. As a matter of fact, this right here is the pile of, as I was making it, the other two um, are over there. The, the items for the other two. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just use the metal ruler. I mean, sometimes this is like a great way to go ahead and cut your papers down. You don't even have to find your, your cutter. Okay, so I needed three of them. So I just went ahead and I cut them down so that I had three out of the book page, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So that gives me my two eight inch pieces. We're gonna be using all different things from, that I've been using in my, um, to make the elements. I have the, the scraps all right here and right over there. Okay, so to start off with, I used some of the tissue and I put them in various places. So I have this one. And let's see, let's go ahead. And I just kind of went along and went, okay. Oh, big one goes over here. And it kind of went so that it was covering. Oh yeah, we used, we used this. And I saved this part. Okay, of the envelope. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we, and I'll save that. And these went over here and they went, actually went underneath this. Okay, so we've got, okay, so there's our big one for each of those. And here's our smaller one. Okay, and then back here, we have our blue piece. So I just went ahead and I figured out where I wanted these. Okay, then I had some little, okay, and they went on the edge. So we're getting the big, the bottom pieces to start with. So let's let's not put that out. That's not a bottom. Okay. So there's our other 
for later. Okay, so we have the big blue. Okay, so the other thing was this over here. That went here. Okay, so I'm filling in the base of this to start with. I don't remember if I, oh, nope, I didn't use the rest of this. You know how I know? Because there's the other one. Okay, so these and these are gonna go over here in this pile. Okay, so next we had a purple for each one. And looks like we It went somewhere over here. Okay. And that piece we didn't use, so. The big long piece goes over here. Short piece goes there. Okay, so now we also had, um, let's see, let's try this one. Okay, this one. Okay, this one went kind of at an angle and we put it on and waited to take the other part off. Okay, so the blue comes over further, comes to here. This comes. Yeah, the blue is over underneath. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and start putting some of this down. And for that, I was using the bottom of this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and set that up. And we're just gonna do the best we can because this is assembly line. So what happened is I already have one done and I'm making the other two to be similar. Okay, so there's that one it's down and this is pretty much gonna fit on here so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how far over because I can lift up the end and put that under okay so I'm gonna put the pink there and there and there okay so that goes like that I'll go ahead and lift this up and put glue on there. Put it down. Okay, so there's that one. Let's move all this up. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so put glue on the back of the glue. So it's um, assembly line. So we've thought about what we needed to do and got all the pieces gathered for the first one, and now for the second and the third, we just have to put them down. Put them where they're gonna go. And so, since the majority of the time comes in picking out what you're gonna do, and pick, picking out what you're gonna use, and picking and deciding what you're gonna do, um, assembly line is a great way to go ahead and you know, I like to use sometimes the assembly line method. Um, I, I like to use it a lot, but uh, one of the times that I really like to use it is when I am 
making something for one thing and I'll make a couple extras and then I have those to give as gifts. And I was really glad that I had done that um, a while back. We did a mini challenge in the challenge that was using six by six papers and we made little journals and I was able to give those two of those journals this week um, when I got to see, to visit with some friends, some longtime friends. And I, I already had those. I kept thinking I was gonna have time to make something new and I didn't. And so I was really glad that I, that I had those. Okay, so I've attached two of the wallet cards there. Let's put these over here too. Okay, so now we're gonna move on over here to the the piece of envelope. Okay, these can go up. Okay, so just now we're just attaching a base. Okay. And the cool thing about this is there is no rhyme, no reason, no um, specific way of doing this, or I don't believe there is anyway. And um, let's see, oh, okay, so now I see this goes on the end. Now we have an interesting dilemma here because this particular one is missing part of its end over here, but it's okay, we'll be able to take care of that in a minute. Okay, so let's come up here and we'll put this one down. So what I did when I was putting this, the first one together is I was gathering all of the pieces for the other two and I have them all stacked and, and waiting over here. So now this one's gonna line up with the edge of that green So it's just gonna line up right here with the edge of that green. And so this one is gonna do the same for the, for the other one. Now, sometimes people use um, glue sticks for this. I'm not sure I want to um, sew on this. I do have out both sewing machines, so I might, um, but I'm not sure. So the next thing is there is space right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this little piece of tissue. This this tissue is awesome. This is from Dollar Tree. It has like a wax to it. And so it stays together when you're trying to use it. I'm, I love it. Okay, so we do the same thing for both of those. And so for this challenge, we're actually making three or more journals. And so when we finish, we'll have three journals that are very similar. Okay. Um, okay, so there's that. So the next thing is this lines up with that. Okay, you see that? So that's gonna line up with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on the base this time. I think I can go up to the edge. Okay. Okay, and then the places where I didn't have glue, I'll come back on itself like that and glue it. Rather than putting too much glue down because my glue is shiny. Okay, so that's gonna give me, give me that. Now we come up here and do the same thing for this one. I'm gonna kinda get an idea of where it goes to. And put it down. You can use fabric as your base. I um, like to use book pages. I like the way the book pages look coming through the bottom, or from, you know, through the paper or through the tissues and, and things. So, and it is one of the items I'm using in, in this um, journal. So, okay. So next I have, I have my purple piece and I'm going to put it, now you could put this so that it goes underneath your, 
tissue if it's not too late to pull your tissue up or some of your tissue. Okay. If it is, that's okay. Then you put it on top. Okay, so this is one of these, these are index cards that we've been using. Okay, so there's that. Okay, looking along and that is, we did good here. Okay, so next we're gonna add some washi and we're gonna start with this one. Okay, remember if you did the mini challenge in the challenge, um, 8.1, you got to add two washis into your, into your, your stash. Okay, so we're gonna go with, and I'm just gonna cover up some of the places that don't, aren't covered yet, okay? And because it's collage, I want I want my pages to or my spots to meet. So you see, we're um, purposely going along and meeting. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. That will give us something different. I love I love adding washi to um, to the master boards. I think it's one of one of my favorite additions, especially, I mean, if I'm using it in other places, it kind of just can help to fill in, bring in some of the other color. And so, and I also, I usually do my snippets in my master board later and that's so that I already have these scraps. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Remember I said that over here, we're gonna have, I'll go there and then, This one is going to go on the blue. I love this. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. Oh, we already did it. Okay, so that can, we'll save that. We might use it at the end. I don't know. Okay, so um, looking at we, what we've got going on, I think I want to add a couple of, okay, so we're going to have, this is going to come in onto the purple, and we should have two of those onto the purple. We don't need those. Okay, we're going to have two of, two of the top pieces. Okay, so we're going to put those over here. I'm going to go ahead and put my my glue on. And I'm going to put these on down here on the end. And it's okay if they go off the bottom a little bit. It's a snippet. It can <laughs> it can take any shape it wants to. This is the one that's going to help hold the two the, the green piece to the other piece. Okay. Oh, that one didn't get its, that one didn't get its, uh, washi. So we'll put the washi under there. Okay. Okay. Now over here, we should have, these were from one of the embellishments that we um, that we cut apart, and we're going to put that here and here. Okay, we'll 
go ahead and add our glue. And you can see that these are coming together. Now, what would you use a snippet for? You can use this for anything like you would use a cluster. You can also make pockets out of them. You can make belly bands out of them. I have one of my favorite ones. Um, I used it across the front and back of a journal um, and it was the decoration that was on my large bird, bird journal. And one of my favorite, favorite uses of a snippet. was my just junk journal for last year for June or July I don't remember but that one has the most amazing embellishments <laughs> all made out of junk okay so there's that so then let's see we're gonna want and that let's go with put this, this one up here so these are from the flinch card digital and I had printed it smaller three and a half by five the cards were um, or the pages were printed at three and a half by five and gave me these smaller And um, okay, let's see. Do we have there's that one? That one. Still working on the base here because we're going to add even some little pieces of fabric, some pieces of those laces and trims, possibly. little bit of everything. Some stamping. Okay. Okay, that one had some, yeah, we don't need any of the pink flower there. Okay. Put that on that. Okay. And we need a couple of full. Flinch cards. So have you made a snippet before? Um, now, usually I would just make, keep making a roll, but um, for this, this particular time, that's not how, how I'm doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and have each of them have their own separate piece and you had the choice of just making of I think it was 54 inch um, snippet or three 18 inch snippets okay so we do have we do need another set of these for right here I might have to get one from the from the actual tissue. So I don't I don't see the other one like this. Okay. Okay, so I just go to my 
my tissue and find one of the, the little there we go and just rip it off so you're going to be able to do that and put those on pages as well which I think is going to be cool like a little a little tattoo on the on the writing pages okay pull this down what leaves up I'm trying to get this okay, okay so that's that's our base now we can go ahead and add in some other pieces. Let's see, we've got this purple piece. We'll go ahead and add a little piece over here, down by that pink, at the edge, down by the edge. Okay, so like that. Okay, now we have some of the little postcards. I think we'll go ahead and add one right here. So above and kind of going off the edge there. Okay, so there's one. Then I think we'll come over here and we'll just use, okay, these are gonna go in the, okay. Okay, this one can get ripped and it can go here. Now you can see how they can be similar yet still different. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull out the fabric tack and I'm gonna do just a little bit of, you're gonna see I've cut some pieces of lace off. And then I've also, well, let's see if I can find both of those pieces. And I don't know why these are stacked in with, they're just catching my, my pieces here. Okay, so I should have two little pieces of I don't. Hmm. Where did it go? There's one. Okay, so nope. Okay, so I need I want this piece is gonna come over here and it's going between the postcard and the yellow. Okay. And I guess we need a piece of that. One for down here. There we go. 
And then over here, we're gonna get two pieces. And we go under the, under this, okay? So we'll put that and we'll put that and we're gonna we're gonna ruffle it okay so let's put that in and we'll gather it push it down gather it push it down might need more glue I'm doing a little ruffle here get some some texture on there in a minute to, to dry. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some more over here because it's going to already be dry. Okay, do the same thing here. Put it down, ruffle, push it over, ruffle, push it over, ruffle, push it over, ruffle. <laughs> it's not the easiest. put a little dab between that and that and add our little piece of lace in there. Okay, so there's that. Then we're going to grab, um, we should have a couple of small pieces of this and we're going to kind of turn it into a bow and this time we're going to staple it down and this is going to be over by our postcard and our flinch card because we try all the different things here and that one's missing too oh look there's the other there's the other okay you're too big so you're probably stuck on these things somewhere Okay, well, we can, we can grab another one. That's no big deal. Okay, so that's from the extra piece of fabric that I got to add, because you, if you're doing the mini challenge, you also got to add an extra piece of fabric. This is for the mini challenge and the challenge 8.2 where we're making the tassels. And there we go. So there's that. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and add some glue maybe I think we'll take that blob of glue off okay let's add a little piece of glue here a little piece of glue here Before we go any further, I want to bring out the stamps. Okay, so we'll set up the stamp pad right here. And we'll start with the little stamp. Make sure that we have it in the right orientation. It goes like this. And we're going to stamp this little one over here. And we're going to stamp this little one here. We're going to stamp the big one. So these are cancellation stamps. We're going to stamp that and that. Okay, and then we're going to bring out that number stamp that I've been using. We're going to stamp here on the blue, and on the blue, and then over here on the green on the green okay and then we can put the stamp pad away so all the different kinds of 
media that we've been using, I think make it kind of fun. Okay, so we should have a three and a three, and they're gonna go over here between the, the blue and the pink. a little piece and I think this was like at the very end oh look there's that one of the day I decided to add this I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down see what I'm to do next. Okay, so there's a little spot here and here for another little one by itself right at the edge of the purple and the yellow. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna come over here with some of this fun. Oh, you know what, we'll, we'll wait. We're gonna put that piece down after. Okay, so who goes up here? Okay, so across down here, we're gonna go ahead and put in a piece of this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make a line of our fabric tag, because we're gonna put fabric in here and it's going to go right along there and we're going to do the wrinkle or the ruffle okay however you need to do to get your ruffle now you remember your snippet you can do it however you want to this is this is just how I'm doing it and now that I've got glue on my hands it's hard to to work Okay, then I want to cut off a piece for over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece off. It's gonna go right here. Okay, there's that piece. And it's supposed to get a piece of a piece of the base over here. Okay. Okay. Now um, from this, actually, we can go from this. Okay. So now we're going to turn this over, and we're going to go from the postcard to here, okay, on the back. I'm not gonna ruffle it or anything. I do want, on this one, I want the fray, the side that's more frayed up, and I'm just gonna attach this piece just like this. And you'll see, we'll have that going across the top there, okay? Then I'm gonna want a little piece going across underneath here. Okay, so it's gonna go from the big piece to the purple. And again, I'm gonna want the frayed piece on the outside. I really like this look right here with giving it an edge, okay. And then, let's see, okay, over here, it's 
So across here from the postcard to the, okay, so from the postcard, where the postcard sticks out over to here. Okay, again, frayed edge up. down, up, ruffle down, that piece, that piece, that piece, that piece, that piece, okay? Okay, then over here, right up here, one more little lace piece. Now remember, you can make this and add to it once it gets in the journal where it's going as well okay so that is the first the first one that you've seen and we'll put it over here on the box and we're going to go ahead do the same thing again um, starting with our let's see which one is going to be this one's a little Start with our ruffly one. This is the fabric that we put the distress inks on and stamped. We've done a lot of things for this. <laughs> lot of different things on this in this journal okay so there's that then we're gonna go with I'll turn it over we're gonna go right here across this fray up it's all spot that has a lot of extra glue, you can go ahead and grab one of your scraps and cover it so you can move on. Okay, so then we've got this spot. That just goes from there to there-ish. And again, frayed side up. trying to straighten it out. Okay, there's that one. And then this one. So it actually ended up wherever the, the washi tape was. I don't think it was, it wasn't like, oh, put that where the washi tape was. I think that that just was the best place to put it just happened to be where the washi tape was. Okay. Oh, we need to go this way. So these are great to do when you have a lot of scraps and you want to make something with your scraps. Okay, so um, we'll come over here and add our little piece here. Okay, so across, and 
this goes down. And then we need a couple of pieces of the lace. So this is what I've been doing is from the trim, I just grab those, one here, and one up here. Okay, now, this hanging down looks kind of pretty silly, so we're just going to go ahead and rip along that, okay? That will give me that. I guess we should do that on this one, too. It wants to keep the, the daisy. It did that all by itself. I was trying to cut through it. It's like, no, you need to keep it. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Here, I'll show you the first one that we were that we were going by and that is my three snippets three 18 inch snippets so we can use this remember we've been using this as a you can use this as belly bands you can use it as pockets you can use it as top tucks you can what I did with that that one journal is I put it all the way around the cover of the journal. It's really pretty. Um, you can do like a cross. Then you can also just cut it into pieces and you can have pieces and add them throughout the journal. You can make these into tabs that hang off the edge of it or even as an edge for your journal. And I had you do 18 inches because that would be two nine inch pieces if you did want to do um, like on your sign the signature covers that you wanted, you know, maybe you wanted them to be um, like a border or something like that. So that is snippet, 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 snippet. So using your scraps and um, I think the other thing I did want to do was I did want to add some of this in, but I think I'll wait and let that go um, on the pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should put a couple, but wait. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll add those in if, if they need it. So snippets, snippets and snippets, snippets and master boards, both a great way to use up scraps. So, um, what was your favorite element adding in? I love the tissue paper and I love the way the stamping, um, changed things. And so I'm, I'm really excited. I cannot wait. This was my last element. So now I'm going to be showing you, um, how I'm using those elements and we'll be putting our journals together. And so find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos. It really does make a difference on how my channel gets put out there and also come back and comment. That has, you guys, I can't even tell you how much that is helping. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.